What up, Chargers? It is your boy, Zachinator, back again in our YouTube video. I just wanted to come out and make a quick little YouTube video today. And by the way, let me know in the comments section on how this new microphone setup works. I don't really have a microphone. So this is the closest thing I have. And just let me know how the audio sounds in the comments down below. Now, I just want to make a video about this. And I know you guys know that I am mostly in all Elite Wrestling YouTube channel. And so I just want to come out and make a quick video about why... I dislike WWE. And I know probably in a few months, this whole opinion will probably change because it's Triple H opinion. I'm not going to voice anything out. All right. Now, disclaimer, this is my opinion. So you guys do not have to ramble off in the comments section. You guys are huge WWE fans. I don't, it, that's great if you're WWE fans. I respect your opinion uh, on your view of wrestling. I'm not trying to say that I hate any WWE fans, I'm just voicing my opinion on why I think I do not like it. Now, I'm just going to say the talent. There's a lot of talent there in WWE that is not getting used at all, and they're very underused, or they are not getting any push at all. For instance, you got Tommaso Ciampa, which is one of the best wrestlers there, you have Finn Balor. I don't really think I gotta say anything there, because I think he kind of explains itself. And there's just so many other wrestlers there that are not getting any, any shot there at WWE. Now, next, I would have to say Vince McMahon should not have stepped in to change NXT. NXT, NXT was fine where it was. Out, him having to come in and make it this NXT 2.0 bullcrap. It was amazing. Black and gold NXT was so good. And you had so many good wrestlers that were not getting used. And people like Adam Cole, which he is, I think you all know that he is one of my, probably one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, was going to be used as a manager. And Vince McMahon was basically saying that he was not the height requirement to be a professional wrestler. Boy, look at Rey Mysterio. Look how very small he is. And he's going to go over there into Adam Cole and say, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're not the height requirement that we need. Oh, I'll make you a manager for Keith Lee. Dude, come on. They didn't say anything to Hornswoggle, which Hornswoggle is one of the best people on the indie scene right now. But... It's just underuse of talent, overuse of talent that, that I think suck. People like Roman Reigns, not a good wrestler. You have people like Seth Rollins, used to be very good. Now he's doing this Messiah bull crap, which is very idiotic. People like Brock Lesnar, which Brock Lesnar freaking sucks. And there's just so many other people there that they're trying to make look so good, but yet suck. Happy Corbin. He should have been fired a long time ago. Mad Cat Moss, unsafe in the ring. So many people there are terrible. And they're giving them this um, Omega push. Don't get me wrong, I think Theory's great. I used to love him in NXT with Johnny Gargano. Renamed his renamed it the theory and now he's treating him like they're, like he's trying to beat the next John Cena. Okay, sure. Call me when that happens. But I gave him the money in the bank, dumb. It's just it's funny. But man. Uh, and then they're doing all this crap and they were trying and look what happened with Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. They fired the best tag team of all time. Yeah, that, that that really helped them. And basically, Vince McMahon does not care for his product at all. He's just trying to do it because of money. And he thinks his vision is beautiful. And it's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. It sucks. And, yeah. It's just, he's... Is basically just an old man trying to run his company to the ground. But I really, really hope 
Triple H does it right because he knows how to do this stuff. So I am praying that Triple H can actually run this company right. Hope Stephanie McMahon does not have the genes of what Vince McMahon has in there. And um, I have my own opinions on Nick Khan. Um, he was definitely one of the main people who fired those that we talent with Vince McMahon. So I have my own opinions on Nick Khan, and I do not think he should be in the WWE. Um, and another thing is they have to roll, and I'm not mad at this because I love Fortnite and I love all this stuff, but this really goes to show on how much money Vince McMahon is losing from all these allegations. He had to run over to Fortnite and do a John Cena collab when he could have done this a long time ago. Don't get me wrong. I love that John Cena skin is definitely my favorite skin that is in Fortnite right now. And John Cena, I think you guys may know this, John Cena is my hero, but you know when they're in a pickle when they could have done a Fortnite collab a long time ago, if you know what I mean. But, yeah. So, huh. I just wanted to come on here and voice my opinions over WWE. And one more thing, um, I know they fired Shane McMahon, and that's a good thing, and I'm glad they are not inviting him into that company anymore. Because I watched last year's Royal Rumble because I wanted to watch it and because Royal Rumble is my fair WWE pay-per-view of all time. I give it a watch. That was the worst WWE Royal Rumble of all time. Shane McMahon tried to make himself look so freaking good by eliminating one person who I wanted to go in and win the match, Kevin Owens. And he eliminated all the good people. And he tried to make himself look so great. And the all, well, the other reason why I wanted to watch the Royal Rumble was Johnny Knoxville. And next week's upload on Wednesday, which hopefully there will be a next upload Wednesday because, well, I am going back to school Wednesday. So I am going to definitely try and make a video on how I rank all the Jackass films after watching all four of them. I, uh, we, I am finishing up Jackass 3 today, so that's fun. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to come on here and voice my opinions on WWE and why I don't make any WWE content, as you guys probably noticed from my YouTube videos that I upload. But, yeah, so definitely keep an eye out for the Titantron Tuesday. I hope you guys are loving the Titantrons. And one last thing before I go. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for getting me over 30,000 views. And thank you all for giving that John Cena video so many views over the past few days. That video is doing super well. That's just like my Young Bucks Titan Tron. It is blowing up. So thank you guys for giving my Titan Tron so many of these views. They They take a while to make. So thank you all for just watching these videos and watching my content, and man, my subscribers have gone up so much, I never thought I would have reached w almost 130 subs, it would mean so much to me, to me by like next year's three year anniversary, that we could possibly make it up to 300, maybe even 200 subscribers by next year, that would be awesome. And I hope you guys give Dynamite a watch tonight because I am praying that my man Kenny Omega makes his return tonight. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all next week for Titan Tron Tuesday and Upload Wednesday. Peace out, guys.